Hi people, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, as I said, this is a channel where I cover practical M1E and uh, project management and planning. Yeah, welcome back from the Valentine period also. So today uh, in uh, our video, today we're going to look at 10 tips of writing, a user-friendly monitoring and evaluation report. Last time we looked at uh, how to write one. Today we're looking at how to write a user-friendly uh, tips of writing user-friendly M&A reports uh, Tip number one you keep it short and to the point Yeah All the other details you may need to attach you attach it in the annexes uh, Tip number two always include a brief executive summary summarizing your entire report the findings the methodology the background to the report that is the executive summary I looked at it in the last video have a list of contents so facilitate is the location of your content yeah the table of contents is very important in your report so that someone who's looking at it can easily identify and locate the sections they want to go to yeah always include the objectives of the evaluation in your report it's very important some it helps someone understand the rationale of the evaluation report uh, tip number five always uh, describe the data sources and the methodology used in your methodology you always have to describe the data sources are the primary sources the secondary sources and what methodology you would have used in your evaluation yeah uh, as a new modern m and &E, the participatory m and &E, the story is encouraging to include the lessons learned section uh, which is le which leads to your recommendation section in the report yeah it's very important donors right now are looking out at uh, what lessons have you learned from maybe implementing the project what are the best practices they can carry on to other upscaling projects yeah and also recommendations in case there are any challenges or your recommendations very important to include that in and tip number seven or is include annexes of terms of references people interviewed very important and brief details of the evaluators yeah as always in an evaluation you always do data collection of interviews yeah it's a uh, very good to include it in how I many people were interviewed you can also uh, give a brief case story of the interviews yeah if uh, they give consent to their photos being showcased you can do that yeah tip number eight uh, tailor it to the midst of the specific audiences yeah, the audiences I mean is either a management shield or stakeholders involved in this project. Uh, is it uh, for the beneficiary? Is it for the donors? So always tailor your report to the specific needs of the audience you're, you're targeting. And uh, tip number nine. Yeah, include cross-cutting issues. These are now very worldwide issues. Yeah, uh, they encourage every projects or reports to have them inclusively the inclusivity the gender issues the environmental hiv or aid issues this should not always be overlooked even if it's not part of the terms of reference for, for doing evaluation always include them in the report uh the discussion of findings about it in your findings and uh yeah the report and uh, lastly make an attractive presentation it shouldn't be too small or too big divide it into paragraphs and chapters with the necessary illustrations your um, attractive presentations uh, it's also important to keep them short and clear and to the point you can include some pictures pictures tell a, tell a story yeah so make your your presentation for the support as attractive as possible so that's it for today thank you very much like and subscribe to the channel i'll keep sharing more about this uh the subject m1e and uh, ppm so like and share my video thank you very much